Hi all, happy December. I'm not gonna do Vlogmas this year. I'm, it's too much work to find something every day, <laughs> tell you the truth. And I didn't plan ahead because things have been kind of crazy around here. So we're not doing Vlogmas, but we are doing Frugal Friday. <laughs> Well, today I'm going to meet someone and maybe get their pup. He is a um, half schnauzer and half poodle. And he's not ever been in a shelter or abused or anything, so hopefully I'll have less problems getting him to adjust to me than I did with Kit. He um, lives with a young, young lady. She's had him since he was a puppy. But she's moving into a small apartment, and she wants him to have, you know, a yard and stuff like that. So she's going to surrender him over to somebody else to, uh, you know, make sure he's had lives a, lives a happy life. I think he's three or four, but he's well-trained, party-trained, knows a bunch of commands. So hopefully that'll all go well. We're, I'm going to go with my friend and her dog, so we'll see how he is with other dogs and other people and me. <laughs> so I may come home with a dog and have some shorts of dogs again, since I don't have any shorts to make of click kit anymore. This dog's name is Haku, which is Japanese. It's It means in Japanese, because you know, y'all know I used to live in Japan. It means pure or snow, what is it? Snowfall or snowflake or something like that but he's not white, so it's also the name of an anime character. So since this is a young lady, I'm guessing he got named after the anime character. <laughs> so anyway, back to, I found these. They're a little bit less common frugal ideas and um, thought I'd throw them out there for you. One of them I'd never thought of, it's like, if, when you're cooking and say you're cooking for two people and you decide, well, I'm going to make enough for four meals instead of two meals. Well, and then what happens is you overeat till you're stuffed and you don't have enough left for two meals, two more meals. Maybe you have enough left for one meal. So this idea somebody has is, and made sense to me, is get out the Tupperware and portion out those other two meals before you even put dinner on the table. And then when you put dinner on the table, you'll only eat what's those those two portions. So that that helps you not overeat, so that helps health wise and it gives you another two portions instead of maybe only one or half a one or whatever, depending on how how uh stuffed you want what would have been at the end. So I thought that was a good idea because it helps with helps with your weight and it helps with your health and it helps with your budget. <laughs> um, this is something I used to do and I might start doing it again. Um, I used to empty the change out of my purse, wallet, whatever, into a jar every night. And what you can also do is, and some banks will do this for you, I don't think mine does, but I used to do it in a checkbook, which you know, who uses checkbooks registers anymore. But when I had a checkbook register, say the check was for $12.14. Well, I would take that, I would round it up to $15 when I did the subtraction down. So I was putting 86 cents basically away into my checking account. So you can do that, you know, just kind of, there's ways to do it where, like, every time you uh, take any money out or purchase anything or whatever, um, transfer that difference into a savings. Like if, like, if I bought something that cost $14.02, take the, the $0.98 cents and move it over into your savings. So basically, you're rounding that up. So if that makes sense at all. <laughs> so anyway, it's a way of just with little teeny increments, it adds up before you know it. Uh, before you go out the door, if you're going to run errands, make sure you have 
water, Coke, whatever your drink of choice is. Mine's usually tea. <laughs> and a snack in your purse because otherwise you're going to be tempted to drive through the drive through and get a little something something because you get hungry or thirsty. So this will save you. Plus, you can make it healthy instead of going through and buying a a Coke and French fries because you want a little snack. You take your water and a meat stick or cheese stick or something. So it's stuff you've already got at home, probably, and you're not spending that money just because you, your shopping took longer than you thought and you're starving. Um... Even though I try and cook from scratch mostly, if you have a few quick convenience food type things for those days when, especially if you're working, just those days that went terrible, you just don't really feel like cooking instead of ordering a pizza, maybe have a frozen pizza in, in, the, in the refrigerator, stuff like that where it keeps you from eating out or ordering out. You know, just make some chicken nuggets and or some mac and cheese it doesn't have to be something fancy just something to get food on the table <laughs> without having to get pizza let's see um i can't read my writing here <laughs> oh price doesn't always isn't always the determining determining factor of the best value it's the cost per use like for example if you buy a t cheap t-shirt costs you 10 bucks but after 10 wears it's pretty much trashed that t-shirt cost you a dollar per use if you buy like a 30 dollar t-shirt but it lasts through 60 washes or whatever, then that was that's only 50 cents per use, you right? Yeah. Although I don't think I'd ever buy a $30 t-shirt, but you get get the drift, the drift if it's, you know, you got to look at the the durability and the quality of something on top of uh, the price because you can't always go cheap isn't always better like with food you know, I get a lot of generic, but sometimes the generic is just so bad that I'm not going to eat it, and I wasted that money. So, anyway, like mostly I like the generic, and a lot of it's the same, made in the same factory. They just put a different label on it, but there's certain ones that you're just like, eh, no, mm -mm. like shampoo, for instance. I've got nice hair. I don't want to ruin my hair with generic shampoo. I was using this really, really expensive $25 for a little thing of shampoo. I was like, eh. I've got to find, and then this last time I bought cheap shampoo and my hair is kind of dry looking. So I've got to find something in between the really expensive stuff I bought and the cheap stuff I bought. There's got to be a middle ground where it makes my hair less dry looking. But it doesn't cost $25 for four ounces. <laughs> um, this one we all know, and most of us do. As soon as you order your food in a restaurant, they give you so much food. Ask for a to-go box right off the get-go and put half of it in the to-go box. And that's, again, it'll save you overeating and give you another meal. Um... When you, I buy stuff online all the time, and I don't do this, and I should. Um, when you buy something online, then they want your email address, and then they send you all these tempting, here, buy this on sale, and so it's a lot of temptation to get things, plus it clogs up your email or texting, whichever folder. Um, so as soon as you get whatever it is you ordered and it's fine and you don't have to return it or anything, go in and unsubscribe. You can always go back and resubscribe if you want to. But And I also found out that if you search for the word unsubscribe in your search field in your mailbox, um, it'll bring up all the ones that have that word unsubscribe in it and you can go through and unsubscribe. And I need to do that because I have 
particularly in my one that I give you all, that's my only, my YouTube one. You would think I wouldn't have very much in it, but I get so much junk in there that I need to unsubscribe to a lot. And in my regular one, there's so much stuff that I'll have a thousand emails in there because I'm not very good at cleaning it up. And then I miss stuff because I'm getting so much junk, I hardly look at my emails anymore. I mostly do texts because that's what my friends do. But once in a while, somebody will email me something and I'll miss it because I just don't even want to dig through all, sloth through all that junk. So unsubscribe to stuff. And I, it'll, it'll be save irritation and it'll save money because you won't keep getting tempted to, you know. Like, um, for an example of that is I used to get um, Splendies, which is a panty thing. And... I haven't got them in several years. I get heaven, heaven panties instead. But they still send it to me, and they sent me one Black Friday or whatever. Join back up, and you can get panties for a dollar or whatever it was, dollar sixty a pair. Now, if I hadn't wasn't getting some already from heaven panties, I might have sucked sucked in and gotten tempted by that. But I'm not tempted. <laughs> in this particular case, but they, they do do that kind of thing. They tempt you with lower prices to suck you back in. Okay, last but not least, and I don't do this, I kind of do, but not as much as I should. Before you buy something, think through what's in your closet. Do I have anything I could wear this with? Like, if you're still working, which I'm not, but, you know, if you're still working or even for church or whatever, and you want to buy a blazer and it's it's a rust-colored blazer, what can you wear with that? Do you have anything besides black jeans and a white top? Is there anything else you can wear that with? Do you have a skirt that's got fall colors in it or... You know, what do you have in your closet you can wear? If you don't have anything in your closet you can wear that with and you get that blazer, then you're going to go out and buy some things to go with it. So you're better off not getting it at all. And you should probably, and I don't do this either. <laughs> don't live, the, don't do as I say, don't do as I do. Like, like I am a winter so I look good in like the royal type colors, royal blues and true reds and those kind of colors. So I should have my closet grouped around that color family because that's what looks best on me. Plus they all go with each other like this. This is a fall. This isn't a winter. But I have several of this color. So at least I have several that go together. <laughs> but... But, you know, if you know what looks good on you, kind of try and stick mostly with that color family. But, you know, say you don't normally wear red. Well, you might want to keep a red sweater in your drawer for, to wear this holiday season. So I'm not saying never buy stuff outside your little color family. You, you know, for special occasions, you might want to have some spring flower dress to wear Easter Sunday or whatever, you know. So anyway, that is my tips for today. I was watching a video just a minute ago, and I might give you some of that ideas. It's, it was side hustles to earn some extra money for women over 50. So I might write some of those down and do a video on that, because I was thinking, hmm, I could use some extra money. And some of them were like, I might be able to do that. <laughs> So, so we'll see. There was one, and I'm like, I'm not sure if they would take mine, but they said you can, just giving plasma, you can get $100 for giving plasma. I'm like, I could do that. Here, take my arm. <laughs> but they won't let me give blood because almost 50 years ago, I had a liver tumor that was benign, but I had half my liver removed, and anything, they hear the word liver tumor, they're like, mm, nope, can't give blood because your liver is what filters your blood. Even though it was benign, the liver grew back, everything's fine, they still won't let me give blood. So I don't know that they would let me give plasma either. Plus, I take blood thinners, so 
That's probably a no for me, but that seems like an easy way to earn a hundred bucks. Just here, take take my arm and give me a hundred bucks. I'm all for that. So that's a little preview of next week. Maybe we can come up with some side hustles. Oh, I got I, I came up with an idea for my family. We do a thirty dollar ish gift. I don't know if I should put it on here because my grandson watches this, so I won't put it on. But after Christmas, I'll tell you what I got. It's really cute. I think it's, think it'll be good for a man or a woman. So you'll have to wait until after Christmas to see what it is I got. Oh, somebody's at my door. Talk to you later. Bye.